so I got an email this morning. Uh, basically, the university has decided that it's going to release my final results um, tomorrow. Now, you might be like, well, James, everyone else has already graduated. Obviously, they were going to release the results. Um, it's actually come a week earlier. I thought they were going to be coming early August. Like, my university just does things super weird. Like, the results come out very late. We graduate sometime next year. It's very random. So it's taken me a little bit off guard. I'm gonna be honest. Not that I'm not prepared for, for my results, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm more than comfortable with getting my results a week earlier. Just adds to the nerves a little bit, you know? Now, I'll be honest, I'm not really thinking too much about the overall grade. I'm not that bothered what I actually get. University in reality for me was a tick on my CV. My aim in life is to never have to show my CV to anyone. It's something for me. It's a personal vendetta that I've proven to myself that I could start something and I could finish it. And I and I think a lot of things in life are just a, a, a mounting sort of level of I wanted to do that, I did it. And that, and that, that is what this has been for me. And at the start of this year, I said I was going to get a 2-1. So hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully we've got that, but obviously, you know, they're two one at the second best university in the world. My parents would be pretty pleased about that. <laughs> Anyways, because I'm obviously really not nervous, you know, because I don't, I don't get nervous. Um, we're going to go on a run, we're going to do my morning routine, and then we're going to head up to Freya's. The reason I'm recording this now and not tomorrow or whenever some other time is that Freya and I are doing a no electricals thing because she wanted to celebrate something for my birthday. So by the time I get my results, it will probably be the first time that I'm allowed to pick up a camera in about 17 hours. But yeah, anyways, let's go on a run. This is be absolutely horrible. Right, well, uh, I'm all packed for my uh, little cabin getaway. The weather is beautiful. Today is a great day. Things are looking up. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Anyways, next time I see you, I will be getting my results. So, um, fingers crossed. Wish me luck. I'll see you on the other side. Right, so please ignore the fact that I'm currently sat on my floor. I'm currently at my girlfriend's, and this is the only place that I can open my results that, like, are out of her way. Today, at 11, if my computer will turn on, I'm getting my results. A little bit of context, by the way. So basically, um, I have done my three years at university now. I got a third in my first year. I got a 2-2 two -two in my third year, and I needed to average, or I need to average a 2-1, uh, like a medium 2-1 in my third year to get a 2-1 overall, which is obviously what I want, because otherwise my parents are going to, well, be pretty upset with me. Just to add to the pressure of not just my parents. Basically, if I don't get a 2-1, I won't be able to do a master's anywhere, which will be pretty disappointing because at some point I do want to do a master's and eventually a PhD. So there is quite a lot riding on this. And the really annoying thing is that I have literally no control um, at all over what I actually get. So um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine though. I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. Oof. Okay, we might have to go do this somewhere else because the Wi-Fi on the floor is absolutely pants. Okay, well, round two, and uh, we're now not on the floor, so that's quite nice. By the way, the last time I got any results, like any results, was during the A-level um, grade announcement, and that went dreadfully. What does that mean? Does that mean I got a 2-1? Upper class second honours, does that mean I got a 2-1? I mean, I got two one. Yes, got two one. Come down, come down, come down. I'm actually shaking. And there we have it. It's official. Upper class second honours. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I wasn't even going to film this because I was so worried I wasn't going to get a 2-1 and that would have been so embarrassing. Anyways, I'm going to go and call my family and let them know um, the grades that I got. But, um...
Last night was great. It was lovely to see the boys. It was lovely to have a nice little celebration, you know, pizza. You, you can't really do any better than that. It is probably the best pizza in London as well, by the way. W6 Crisp. Unreal. But yeah, all in all, honestly, I think getting my results back, it's kind of felt like there's been a little bit of a weight off my shoulders. I feel like I've been waiting for them to come back. Like, I feel like I've been kind of slowly delaying everything and now it's like right i'm in the big world I've, I've actually got to go and do stuff like i now have to actually get on and hustle you know like this is now technically my, me like this is my job like i've got things obviously on the side that i'm working towards but it's now like i've got to get on with those you know i can't just lie on my sofa for the foreseeable future and hope that something's gonna like fall into my lap like i've got to go out and get it you know like I, we've got to go we've got to go out and meet the world head on Anyways, my family are taking me out for lunch and dinner later because they are very excited and very proud, which, you know, is nice, it's nice, you know, I got some nice messages from all of them. I'm still kind of shocked, um, to be honest, I really did pull it out of the bag. I was hopeful, I mean, for the amount of work that I did put in this year to get the grade that would require me to get a 2-1, it was a lot, but honestly, it was so worth it. Also, shout out to the guy who uh, I played hockey against who said that it wasn't worthwhile me being at university because I was only going to get a 2-2. Um, listen, mate, guess you got a 2-1. I think that this now proves to everyone that it's been worthwhile and also it proves that you can do more than one thing at once. Like when you are at university, if you're someone that wants to go out and do other things and I don't know, achieve in other areas outside of the university sphere, it's possible. And yeah, the sacrifices that I made this year to get me into the position where I could do this and say this in this moment, it was worth it. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go spend the next couple of weeks looking at masters because uh, that is now something that I really wanna do. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be next year, the year after, or in a couple of years, but it now means that I can do that, so that's exciting. And then potentially a PhD because uh, I would love to be Dr. James. Besides being a doctor, it is, it is really quite cool to be an expert in like a specific topic, something that excites me. So we might do that, we might do that. What can I say? Mission academic comeback, completed it, mate. Anyways, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, check out my other videos, and yeah, have a lovely day.